Okay, after many a mishap, we are finally in orbit. Uh, yeah, some of those mishaps were kind of annoying, so basically all I did was, in addition to the solid rocket boosting cones, I also put the large oolage motors on the bottom, so basically they were jetting away from this as fast as it possibly could. Anyway, I have circularized my orbit at 91420 and 91652. Now, the thing about um, Mimnus is that it is on a skewed orbit? I don't know what type of orbit that is. Uh, I, elliptical, maybe? No, elliptical is when one side of your orbit is significantly larger than the other. For example, if I had an orbit of 10,000 kilometers by 300... Uh, if I had an orbit of 100,000 by 300,000, that would be elliptical. So I don't know what this is. I know it's uh, the same distance all the way around. It's 4,400... Uh, no, 46 million kilometers? Yeah, 46 million. So yeah, when you need to make it so the alternate ascending and descending nodes are at zero or close to it, that way we can burn from pretty much anywhere and get there. Otherwise, we have to go from the alternating and descending node, and we will be underneath or below it and be thrown into a polar orbit when we do that. That's not too bad, considering it's easiest to land on Mimnus from a polar orbit, because you get the most amount of flat spaces from a polar orbit. So let's just try to grab this. Mimnus is going in this direction, so there's very little chance I will be able to grab it from either the all the ascending or descending node, but let's try. Oh, that was a mun encounter. Oh. Uh, yep, as you can see, my closest approach is right there. It's all the way over there. So if I drag this by clicking the middle of it all the way around, and my... Oh, I actually have an encounter like that. 35 seconds of burn. I will wind up underneath it at... No, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, honestly, it's pretty good. Normally, I would prefer to get along the same plane as it and get thrown into an um, equatorial orbit. I keep saying equilateral, it's equatorial. Because that's the most fuel-efficient way to do it. But like this, getting thrown into a polar orbit will make it easier to actually land, so let's go ahead and maneuver our way there slowly. How much mono propellant do I have? A decent chunk. I can afford to use RCS for this. You have to be careful when using your mono propellant because it will run out. You will see you will find yourself thinking to yourself, why did I do that? Oh turn on SES obviously. That way it won't wobble ridiculously. I can use the torque. Jesus Christ, come on. It's a bad thing about still having this large of a stage attached to something that's not as large as it. it the fact that it'll wobble around a lot, especially if you have two reaction wheels. Like, I'm going to try to toggle that torque so that way it's not running. So that way I'm just using this reaction wheel, the cockpits, and the RCS. It's still wobbling, though. That's, that's just something you're going to have to deal with once you're... Uh, ships get bigger. Okay, so uh, thank you for Kerbal Alarm Clock for making this part easier. Unfortunately, the alternating and descending nodes are very. The alternate. The um. Yeah, the maneuver node is right over the uh, apoapsis or periapsis, apoapsis rather. Which you know isn't a bad thing. It's just irritating. Oh hey, satellite's not far away. And we're on the dark side. Bye-bye, yeah. sun. Alright, so... We are almost there. We are going to get into orbit in this episode. We are going to land in the next. And here's the best part. If I don't manage to get orbit, which is going to be a crying shame, because I have more than enough fuel for it, I overprepared, this will fling me right back into the ocean. Right near what looks to be... Yeah, a small little um, bay here. That's uh, ringed by mountains. That's pretty cool. So I have more than enough fuel to do this. This one stage. So it's... What's half of 35? 17? Yeah, I'll burn out about 17 seconds. That should be good. Go ahead and align myself again with this. Just have to be very careful about your monopropellant. Because in an emergency, your monopropellant can actually be used to fling you back out of orbit. 
And there we go. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. You gotta be careful when you're this close. Do not fast forward too much. You will regret it. Alright, what are we at? Let's go ahead and quick save it. In case I do overshoot this. So we are there we are. Okay. <sighs> You know, I could just have this hold prograde now, since that's the only thing this thing is doing, is burning prograde. Pretty much, I think, once the prograde marker and the maneuver node are over each other, that's when you want to burn. But let's go ahead and do this. Now, it's helpful to do it from this mode, so you can see your orbit change. Kill your thrust when you're at the right number. Wow, my FPS is at 24. Now it's at 15. I notice there's a bit of an FPS drop whenever the music changes. That's kind of weird. Alright, just keeping an eye on my fuel. 38 units of fuel per tick. That's rather a lot, but... This is a mainsail. It's meant to get you out of orbit. Almost there. Kill. Oh, no. Kill. And then... Oh, yeah, I'm going a little bit too far, so I gotta go retrograde now. I didn't even get an encounter, that's how uh, far I was going. Yeah, because right now I don't have an encounter. Come on. I hate when this happens. How much monopropellant am I burning doing this? A decent chunk, honestly. Yeah, as of right now, I'm on an escape trajectory. Great. And that's just from the uh, model propellant, so I might want to turn that off. Model propellant messes with your orbits a lot more than the torque of uh, the capsules and stuff. Come on. Alright, now I'm retrograde a little bit. Okay. And... There we go. We have an encounter. Go ahead and get rid of the maneuver node to make it easier to see. Nope, now we've lost it. That is a bad thing, because this encounter is very difficult to get, because I went ahead and shoved it into a tight window. Alright, let's go ahead and just try to torque our way out. See, now I have an encounter. It's just the torque now messing with me. You see... It's like, it's hovering right on the edge of me encountering it. And this is just like, mm hmm. That's the problem with trying to get into such a tight window. I could have just uh, matched planes with him, with it, and then gotten a much more stable encounter, but. Alright, now I need RCS. Because now I'm going all over the place. Come on, Jebediah, you're better than this. Yeah, I just can't seem to get it right over the node. Oh, it's because I'm still trying to hold... There we are. Ah. There we are, stable. Stable encounter. And that's not a very bad periaps, actually. Let's go ahead and turn off my timer. And uh, warp the sphere of influence change. Uh, let's see, 17 days, 3 hours, 44 minutes. 17 days, 5 hours. And, okay, so I've got about 2 hours after here to make the course correction. That's more than enough time. Alright, let's go ahead and actually, you know, see Mimnus going away from us. Bye-bye, Mimnus! I love how that continent looks exactly like Africa. Except a lot more lush. It's shaped exactly like it. That's really funny. Alright. And that's the sun. Where are we? I don't even know where we are right now. Let's go ahead and increase our warp speed a little bit more. We are going to pass over Mimnus' orbit any time now. Why is it slowing down so much? You're... You're nowhere near... Oh. Yeah, we're nowhere near the sphere of influence change. Come on. Yeah, see? It... There we go. And we are about to encounter. And 
I'm probably gonna want to point retrograde, so... We are just about... Yeah, this was a bit of a tough one, but I think I got it. After all, I do have enough fuel for... What is it, 39 point something? 31.9, let's just say. Units of fuel. Alright, so we've got, what, 1916 divided by 39.9. That's just, I know it was 31, but I have at least 47 seconds left to burn, so... Let's go ahead, and once we encounter Mimnus, our navball is going to flip around, so... That's why you never want to be going into Mimnus at, uh, or any sphere of influence change for that matter, during time acceleration, because things are going to flip out on you. And here we go. But the only good thing about this is it's going to launch me right back to Kerbin, so... Let's see if we can see Mimnus from here. No, that's Kerbin. There's Mimnus! Yeah, we want to point retrograde and then burn retrograde here. There we are. Way too tight of an orbit. I can fix that. Circularize first. Eight and eight. Eight and seven. Eight and, yeah. There we go. That should be good. Eight, seven. Ah, come on. I'm just trying to be nitpicky here. That's about as close as I'm going to get, more than likely. Yep, point retrograde. It's a... Jesus Christ, a one minute and two second burn? 62 seconds. 62 seconds times it was, what, 31.9 units of fuel per second? That's more fuel than I have in my current stage. Doesn't seem right to me. Just to achieve orbit? I guess I am coming in from decently far away. Okay, I guess I can live with that. I did build this so that the lander could land and take off. Guess I spent too much fuel actually, you know, messing around, so... Yeah, I was gonna be like, yo, what are you going at 10,000 times time acceleration for? Come on. Alright, so it's about a minute and two seconds. I don't think I have enough fuel in the stage for that. So I'm going to burn at about 50 seconds. That should give me enough time with this poodle engine to be able to make it. Plus, it'll be a lot more maneuverable once that happens. Hey, let me turn on the lights so you, oh, you can see how well this thing is lit up. See? You can see everything. And now you can see nothing. Oh yeah, we are high, uh, high above Mimnus right now, but we are a bit too close to maneuver for me to want to do any science. Alright. Uh, let me go ahead and quick save it. Right, put that right over there. Right over the Apple apps. Is that eight? Eight? It's actually pretty close. Once I have it over the Apple apps, it actually gets really close. Perry apps, rather. I always mix those two up. I really shouldn't. One's high point, one's low point. Nice and easy. But anyway, quick save it. And now we are high above, so let's go ahead and take our crew report now. Jesus, this thing is wigging out trying to stay stable. Ah, I should have sent that. There we are, send it. I wonder, can he do a crew report too? Nah, he can't. Sadly not. Observe the materials bay. Observe the mystery gear. And uh, I can't get temperature readings this high. No way, no how. So we're going to take Jeb. Not Jeb. Yep. And you're going to do an EVA report. And get right back inside. There you go. Again with these Skype groups calling. Alright. Quickly quick save. I know this episode is going to run a little long. But that's fine. 
You're getting the orbit of Mimnus. I think it's cool. It's a giant block of mint ice cream. It's awesome. Alright, so at about one minute, we are almost there. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, go! Oh god. Okay, so this takes significantly less fuel than the game was telling me, and I was panicking for no reason. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do this. It's very, very early in the orbit, but oh well. I keep forgetting this engine has very good thrust. Alright, we are getting closer. Just go ahead and get burning nice and slow. There it goes. And stop that. So, what am I at? 8,000 and 9,000? Pretty good. Alright, that's orbit. And if I could... There we are. I want to focus on Mimnus, because... I've got a very, 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 very tall orbit over it. So, what I want to do is I just kind of... Want to go retrograde and... Jesus Christ, stop wigging out. Bring this in nice and close. And get a better idea. There we are. 100 should be good for now. And I want to warp to the periapsis. And we're apparently under acceleration because of how much we're trying to keep this ship stable. There we go. <laughs> Look at my satellite going insane. There we go. Oh, let's get rid of the maneuver node. Alright, let's see. How much would this take? Here, Circular eyes? What's this? It's almost there, actually. Oh. Ten. Nine. Nine. Ten. Nine. Nine. Ten. Nine. Just being nitpicky. Ten. Almost. Oh. Nine. That's eh, probably as close as I'll get. Yep. That's about as close as I'll get. And then just point yourself retrograde because that's all this burn is. It's going to take about a second of acceleration. I should probably take a very close look at exactly how much fuel this thing uses per tick. And uh, it looks like I'm going to be coming in over these planes. The I think those are... Now, these are the largest planes on Midness. And it looks like I'm not going to come anywhere close to those. So it looks like I'm going to be landing in this, which is very ridge-like around it. And it's kind of a tough spot to land, but I will do it because I'm good at this game, apparently. Quick save. I'm great at this game when I'm not reverting flights and quick saving. Yeah! Anyway, if my test run is any indication... Really? You're going to go that far down? Okay. If my test run is in the indication, I will run out of fuel in this first stage as I am landing. So that way I can jettison it, jettison it and then start up my other engines. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Where am I? Oh, I'm focusing on... There we are. It's really taking this much trouble to try to stabilize this thing. Just go with stability assist. How much monopropellant do I have? I have enough. I can use RCS now. I've flown the same configuration to uh, Mimnus a few times, and I've run out of monopropellant quite a few times, so I'm just trying to be careful with it. And the estimated burn is not even there, so pretty much the instant I hit the node... Oh, come on. I keep forgetting Kerbal Alarm Clock's gonna help you out here, and then you have to manually increase your time acceleration again. Should really set it so that its intervals for uh, warning you are a little bit shorter. Because all it takes is time for me to figure out my course corrections and all that. Burning retrograde, and we are pretty much over it right now, so it's not really as important for you to get this exact as it was for you actually landing here, or, you know, getting into orbit, so you can afford to be a little bit more impatient. What's this? 1002 9 oh there we are 9-8 9-9 all right we are in a high and stable almost completely circular orbit around Mimnus 
And now we need to choose our landing spot, so I'm going to go ahead and make this a close orbit of about 30,000 kilometers before the start of the next episode, and I'll see you guys then. We will be landing on the giant ball of mint chocolate chip ice cream. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button for me, make sure to leave me a comment, guys, and I will see you guys next time, where we will be landing on the giant chocolate mound that is Mimnish. See you guys then.